Right, so uh, let me quickly welcome everyone. Uh, so welcome everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, depending upon the time zone in which you are in. Uh, it's me, Anuj Kumar Sharma, uh, along with my colleague Raj. We both represent uh, Wislabs, uh, the company which is into uh, project management and uh, Java certification training. So we are here today so as to actually get you started with the PMP live online training for which you have opted uh, to attend with us. It's going to start uh, from the 26th of uh, May this month onwards. And uh, as you can see in front of your screen is going to uh, go until the June 19th. And uh, we have actually, you know, really carved this out of a uh, lot of discussions that we did with our uh, with our uh, you know our customers we did a lot of surveys and then we figured out that you know this is one such kind of uh, training that is really really required by people who really are uh, you know crunched on the on the part of time uh, at the same time they do not uh, have enough of time on the weekends where they can actually you know uh, get into a classroom mode and uh, their entire weekend at the same time you know four full days of cramming where you get into a boot camp and uh, and you know uh, being taught for four long four to five long days where there's a lot of stuff that goes on and it's very hard for one to actually remember grasp and get into that mode so that is exactly where this mode of training actually uh, you know came out and uh, we are very, uh, you know, the kind of response that we have got is very, very confident. People really want to do it and that is why, you know, we all are over here to get this started. So once again, setting the agenda uh, and setting the logistics in place, uh, you see in front of yourself, uh, Monday 26th June to 19th, uh, uh, sorry, Monday 26th of May to 19th June is when this training is going to uh, being delivered and Monday to Thursday is when in a week you will be actually putting a process one and a half hours for us to be trained for PMT certification training. Okay, let's move forward. Uh, I'm sure by now you might have already seen the course curriculum in front of yourself. Uh, we might have already shared it with you, uh, with you on emails. You might have received several of emails from our site, the email prep course which we have started so as to you know jump start your preparation. So as I mentioned that this is going to be a 16 module course where we'll be teaching you for 1.5 hours every day. From day 1 to day 16 the, the entire course cur curriculum is in front of you. It will start from introduction to the PMP exam project program and portfolio management and uh, then slowly and steadily we cover every topic of scope, time, cost, quality, human resources, communication risk, procurement stakeholder and in the end we'll wrap it up, you know, summing everything up together. And this is going to be very interactive. Every day you'll see, you know, this is going to be a very, very interactive session. Uh, okay, I see a hand being raised. Let me quickly check who is it. Okay, Hibad Bari. Uh, so Hibad, uh, let me unmute you and take your question. And guys, I would say, uh, you know, let me go through this. And if there are any questions, you can put into the question panel. And I can take it post I, uh, you know, completely take you through this entire presentation. Because this is very important for you to actually take it, uh, you know, listen, listen to it from the length to the breadth and uh, really, really take it very seriously because we are kind of, you know, jump starting your preparation and every point that I say right now is going to be very crucial for your training. So, Hibat, I am unmuting you. So, I think there is some problem. So I'll, I'll proceed, Hibat, why don't you put your question, uh, you know, whatever query you have into the question panel and one of us will uh, pick it up. So moving on to the next part, you see that, you know, after the 16 days are over, 
the 17th, the 18th, and then onwards, we have put for uh, you know practicing. Practice practicing is very important. At the same time, when I when I move back, let me let me delve a little bit more in these days. So how would it work? Is suppose on day four, the trainer teaches you about scope management. Now the expectation is in 1.5 hours, this everything about the scope management is being taught to you. The questions we will run a short quiz, five to ten question question quiz would be run in every module along with the flashcards, post it would be assignments that will be provided to you. Okay, so you will be you will be actually expected to do assignment once you're out of the class and once you resume the class back. And the expectations also uh, for you to do the pre-reading which we are sharing with you. So I'll delve a little bit more into it a little bit later. Okay, so post the class has been taught, you're expected to go back go through the recording of the session the same way as we are recording this session so would be all the other sessions all the 16 sessions will be recorded and shared with you just after the training uh, you know that 1.5 hour of training has been delivered on that specific day and the expectation is for you to go back and do the 15 to 20 question quiz on the respective topic in the LMS the access to which will be shared with you post the first day After you completed with all the 16 sessions, the expectation is, and this is a very mandatory requirement, it's mandatory for all of you to actually take up the first quiz, the first practice test of 200 questions, which is a full length practice test, the same pra kind of practice, the same kind of test which you will actually see in your actual exam. So it's very, very important that you take up this test after you are completed with your uh, you know your learning part. Day 18 is when you will take the practice test second and the third. So there are four practice tests. I'll quickly show you the LMS a little bit later and you will see you know where you can find these practice tests, the uh, short quiz, the 15-20 question quiz that I'm talking about, the flashcard that I'm talking about and so on and so forth. And the idea is that you know you have to practice, practice, practice because practice is very much required. Here we are not getting into a mode where we you know are teaching you for four or five good days and you know cramming you with a lot of stuff rather what we are doing is we are going in a drip kind of a mode where we slowly and steadily give you small small package of the PFP certification uh, course and uh, uh, you know you you at your comfort actually learn it practice it and pass the exam So before I actually move on to telling you about who's going to teach you, let me actually take you through the LMS because that's very important. So here is how you see the LMS. Okay, where is it? Here it is. So I hope you, you are able to see the LMS in front of you. Raj, could you confirm that please? We can see the LMS. So LMS is nothing, okay perfect, so LMS is nothing else but a, you know, a learning management platform, a learning management tool where you will be enrolled and you will get access to this LMS after the first day of training. The moment you take the first day of training, the LMS access will be imparted to you and the expectation is as you can see, the first chapter was introduction and related to introduction are the flashcards and the organizational influences also being covered in the first dates. The moment you go on to the project management processes or the integration management, that is exactly where the quiz kicks in. So you've been taught for 1.5 hour, now you go back and you actually start your quiz, you know, to understand how, how much have you grasped, how much have you gained uh, on a given day. What, what has been your learning curve and how much do you still need to uh, impart so as to you know uh, ensure that that specific topic is actually crystal clear to you. So it's a, it, as I mentioned it's going to be a drip kind of a model, slow, steady and it's going to be completely up to you 
to actually practice it in such a way that you know after 16 to 18 days you're all clear with all the concepts at the same time ensure that maybe 19th 20th day you are there uh, you know taking the PMP exam okay so every topic will have a quiz associated to it scope management will have flashcards and quiz time management and so on and so forth so as you can see in front of yourself as I mentioned over here day 1 to day 16 we taught and then the 15 to 20 question quiz on specific topics being taken by you on your own and then shared uh, you know the, the result should be shared on the discussion forum the Q&A forum that I'll share with you uh, the link to which I'll share with you at the later stage now moving forward uh, Oliver your work is actually the trainer is going to train you uh, you know from May 26 to June 19 he's a very reputed trainer and he has a fabulous uh, scorecard I mean there's hardly anyone whom he has taught has ever failed so we have seen the course curriculum we have seen a bit about the LMS we have seen about the trainer uh, the trainers profile now what we are looking at is the mandatory elements there are, there are quite too many mandatory elements which will actually ensure that if you do not follow then you know it's going to be very very tough we really have to ensure that we follow this uh, you know these elements we follow the study plan we follow what the trainer tells you to do we follow what this lab study plan actually requests you to do because at the end you are spending so much of your time out of your busy schedule to pass the exam and if you do not follow these simple steps then it you know it really becomes very difficult altogether to pass in flying colors so the first step obviously is to be present in every session that's very very important please be there in every session don't miss the sessions although if you miss these sessions the recording will be shared with you but I would request I would personally request you to actually be present in all these sessions and be present five minutes prior so as to set yourself uh, up and you know uh, all your logistics is being taken care of your go to webinar meeting is being uh, set you have a proper headset and a mic with a reliable computer please ensure that you have a reliable computer everything is going to be online so you really really need to ensure that you have a reliable computer you have a reliable headset and a mic another request is please ensure that you do the pre-reading part by now you all of you might have already started receiving emails from our site the pre-reading emails so every module has a pre-reading attached to it and we are sharing it with you every day so people who are not getting it please do let us know after the session so that you know there's hardly anyone who's going to be not receiving it but even if you know we have left anyone please do let us know so that we can actually share all, all of it with you so do the pre-reading part and pre by pre-reading I mean this is something you know something like this might be you know this is what you might be receiving so if I have to say about the cost management is the module which you have to pick up which is going to be taught the next day so you will receive the part related to cost management where everything related to cost management will be taught to you and then the expectation is that you will come to the class the trainer will take you through the slides Pick, you know take questions over there so that whatever your learning has been so far actually gets concreted and then you move further to take up the quiz which is there in the LMS and move a step further alright so I hope I have been like clear as of now if there are any ambiguity questions and all uh, so there are questions uh, Dhada, Amit, let me kind of, I, I really request all of you to let me pick up these questions after the session because that will really help everyone
Okay. Now, Pimbok, I'm sure that by now you might already have got into a mode of PMP exam certification preparation and you might have already been aware about the term called Pimbok. Pimbok is nothing else but the Bible for project management professional certification, PMP certification. It's been written by PMI, it's into its fifth edition and uh, no book competes with Pimbok. This is the book from which various other books have been written. So if you talk about any other book in the market, it's all coming from Pimbok. So this is very, very important for every one of you to have this book. Now there are various methods to actually pick up this book. Uh, you can buy a hard copy of it from the market. It roughly costs around $65 or you can be, become a PMI member and get a lot of benefits along with this PMI membership at the same time get the PIMBOK for free. It's an ebook downloadable version which you get for free if you become a PMI member. And PMI member, uh, to become a PMI, uh, PMI member you have to actually pay a uh, fee of $129 but you get a, a discount in the actual certification application. So when you go to apply for the PMP certification uh, you have to fill up an application and to fill up an application you have to pay a fee of uh, $555 and when you become a member the, the, the fee that you've paid to become a member is being deducted from there and then the rest of the amount is being paid for the PMP application. Now the benefits of becoming a PMI member are many. You get access to a lot of free publication case studies, uh, local chapter invites, uh, you know, uh, at the same time uh, PIMBOK is being downloaded for free and so on and so forth. There are various, various, uh, you know, benefits that you get out of becoming a PMI member and you might have also received an email by now relating to PMI membership and PIMBOK. So we might have already shared the details with you about the importance of becoming a PMI member. The link shows you how to actually become the member of PMI. So it's very, very important that every one of you should have a PIMBOK with yourself. Now, as I mentioned and I've already uh, shown you how the LMS works, suppose a module is being taught, so time management is being taught, you go to the LMS, the now this is the URL. So, let me use the highlighter. so this is the URL where you log in and you take the respective time management quiz. Once you're done, go to, uh, you know, uh, go to the pre-reading part which you might receive in your email or you can directly do it from the LMS itself. Do the pre-reading, come back the next day you know, get taught by the trainer, go back and do the quiz once again. That's very important. So this is, this is, you know, this is always very, very important that you go back and do the, do the quiz respective, for the respective uh, topic. Now after every session, what we'll do is there'll be a poll. So whether you like, like the session, you don't like the session, you know, there'll be a poll which we'll run every day to hear your voice so that we can improve, uh, you know, in our upcoming sessions. So every day you'll see a poll and on the 14th or 15th day there will be, a, you know, uh, an elaborative poll where we'll take all your feedback and uh, we'll then actually incorporate it for our future sessions. But what we have done is this is all coming out of a real tried and tested methodology and we are pretty sure that you know you'll really really love this. Okay so there is this question and answer forum. The idea to run this entire course is like this. You do the pre-reading, you come to the class, let the trainer teach you, you ask your questions, the trainer run, runs small quiz, 5 to 10 questions each. The trainer also takes you through flashcards, 5 to 10 flashcards each. You go back, test your learning in the LMS that we'll provide. 
do the quiz over there. If you have any queries, you can ask it on the question and answer forum which is there in front of you, the link to which will also be shared with you. At the same time, you can also ask your queries directly from the trainer in the next session. So that is the entire idea. Pretty robust and you know, high level of engagement is what we will be seeing in this entire training. And it has to be two ways. So please do not shy not to ask your question and uh, sit on it. So don't do that. Ask your question if you have it. And you have the access to the trainer, you have the access to the Q&A, the forum, where you, your, all your queries will be answered in approximately, you know, the next day you can uh, come to the session, by then all your queries will already be answered. So that's how robust, how agile we want to make it. And I would really request you to share your score with everyone let's make it a healthy competition there'll be like you know other peers of yours who will also be joining the training and uh, let's make kind of make a very healthy competition where we share our score and say that hey I mean okay this is what I got so that you know it really gives a kick to the other one and uh, we kind of start practicing and getting into that mode and that is the sole reason why those uh, PMP discussion groups and you know study groups and all which you might be hearing around uh, in your vicinity uh, comes across. That that's the sole reason, you know, one pulls the other. Okay, I've already covered this. Covered about the LMS access. I've covered about the recorded sessions and. Uh, Talking about this, you all know that this is absolutely free for four days. You like it, you move, you want to move further to the fifth session, then there will be a training fee that will have to be paid to move on to the fifth session. So please make the due payment, uh, you know, the due training fee and uh, move on to the next, uh, you know, the fifth session and onwards. And I'm, I'm very confident that all of you will actually go to the fifth session. Uh, just in case someone doesn't like the session or someone says that, you know, uh, I'm, not, I'm kind of, you know, not available for the session in, in days to come, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll actually uh, ask you to come back when you are available. Until then, we'll have the access revoked to the items. And for you to make the payment, you can make the payment online directly on the website or the concerned relationship uh, manager who, uh, who is associated with you will actually be contacting you so as to ensure that you know your entire uh, payment uh, you know the, the payment that you make is being done properly and all and uh, you're all set to start the training. Now any time during your preparation you need any help any time by any time mean any time starting right now till your course finishes and even after that also. Anytime you need any help, this is the email address on which you have to send your email. And it will be uh, responded back in less than 12 hours. That's what we guarantee. So yeah, let's, let's really get started. And uh, folks, this is my email address. Please note it down. I am going to the guy who is going to be solely responsible to ensure that you pass and you pass in flying color. And anywhere you feel that within your preparation journey you are facing any bottlenecks and uh, you know your queries have not been answered when you wrote to support at Wislabs or there's any other problem that you are facing which has not been addressed by Wislabs, please do not think twice to write to me. This is my email address, anuj at wislabs.com. Please write to me and I really promise that will be uh, resolved ASAP. That would be my priority. Now, let me open up this for a quick Q&A. Let me answer people who have questions. Okay, so here you go. There are so many for me. 
how will this amount to 35 hours of PM training? So that, uh, uh, this course is actually approved by PMI and PMI when it comes to the online uh, way of training, you know, this is how it works. There's going to be pre-reading stuff that's already been provided to you. Okay, the expectation is that you have to study it to ensure that you pass in flying color, please study. Now, after that, you know, there's 16 session which actually counts to 24 hours. There are three practice tests which counts 12 hours. So if you count 16 plus 12, it automatically makes it 38, which is beyond 35. So that's the expectation. Okay, so that is how we actually provide you 35 uh, contact class. And in our other courses, we provide, uh, you know, 60 uh, PDU, 60 contact hours, but those are separate. I hope I, I was able to answer your query. Moving on to Ahmed's question, how much time do you need to spend after the class for practice of each session? So Amit, there are 15 to 20 questions when you actually look at the actual exam. What really happens is there are 200 questions and you get 4 hours, you get just over a minute to answer every question. So if you talk, if you, if you kind of see if there are 20 questions given in your uh, LMS related to time management, then you get approximately, you know, 25 to 30 minutes to answer them. The recorded session is something that, you know, you go through the recorded session, you take the quiz over there, and there you are. You're all set. So Sri, I hope I was able to answer, uh, you know, the same logic is being, uh, is, you know, the logic is same as, as was for Garda's question. How will you get 35 hours of PM training? And you can see this training is actually available on PMI site also. Okay, so uh, this is how I'll tell you. Any registered education provider, whenever registered education provider provides any training to anyone, the provider has to submit the course with PMI. PMI approves it and only then we can impart, uh, you know, any training or any online courses. This training is there. The ID is 22.1283 or 84. Please go on to uh, PMI site. Check the RET uh, name as Wislabs. The ID is 2314. And there you will see this PMP online instructor led training being registered and is eligible to give you 35 contact hours. So don't worry about it. Saeed has a question. Saeed says when you say when you say reading, where where are we reading from PIMBOK or your notes made out of PIMBOK? So uh, PIMBOK is of 600, approximately 600 pages side. The expectation is that you have to go through all of it. The study material that we provide you is also card out of uh, PIMBOK. So that will also be good enough for you to read. But then, you know, we would still appreciate and uh, request that, you know, every one of you should go through PIMBOK at least once. So guys, any more queries, any questions, comments, anyone, anything related to the session, how would it work and things like that, please let me know so that I can answer it for you. Okay, Neha has a question, does all of the processes are in flashcard? Yes, Neha. So there are 595 flashcards which you'll see in this course. All the processes are there in the flashcard. And yes, one more important thing. Let me let me quickly actually let me quickly take you guys through one more important stuff over here. So you might be seeing this LMS in front of you. You can also customize your test. Okay. So you can create custom tests. So suppose you know, let me pick up a case where I have been taught everything. The trainer has taught me everything, I have revised everything, I have taken practice test of 4 hours, 200 questions and I see that I am doing terrible in the knowledge area of, you know, cost management. I will go over here and select project cost management and make up a test for myself. 
this is a customized quiz that I will make for myself because I am doing terrible in cost management. So I will concentrate more on cost and keep the others at bay so that you know my, my focus could go more and more towards the cost because I am doing really terrible out there. At the same time, as you can see, the, the quiz could be created both knowledge area wise as well as you know process, area, uh, process group wise. So if I really, I, I just and just want to work on planning. So what I'll do is I'll make my quiz only related to planning and you see that there are 188 questions will come for you and they'll all only be focused on planning. Now suppose if I want to work only and only on monitoring and control. 201 questions only and only on monitoring and control. So this is how engaging and you know robust this platform is. This has really been built keeping all the requirements of the aspirants in mind. We have really, really worked very hard to ensure that you know everything which a, which a, which an aspirant needs to prepare is actually coming under one umbrella. At the same time, no cramming. Go slow, completed in stipulated, uh, stipulated time, and pass your PMP exam. At the same time, ensure that all your work, life, professional balances are kept into real, real check. You really put you and spare you time to your family, your profession, your life, everything. So that that's how we have actually kept everything in mind and created this course.